welcome back to the extended interview with Danny Romero Jr. You were talking about, you know, you helping out the kids and just coming back. Obviously, you inside the ring had your struggles and your wars, one none yes. other than your battles with Johnny Tapia. Yes. Talk about the hype leading up to that. And were you happy the fight didn't happen here in Albuquerque and it took place in Las Vegas? Well, instead? you know, no, not necessarily. You know, we, our community should have um, got to see that and feel that. I mean, there was so much around, we, even myself in that spot, it was, a, it was crazy. It was a wonderful thing. Uh, the only thing that was missed is that our community didn't get to feel that fight here at the pit, wherever. If we would have fought at the at the football stadium, we would have packed it. Uh, that's the only thing that was missed. At that point, um, you know, promoters are involved. There's a lot of money at stake, so they were not going to allow that to happen. Um, that's the only thing I do miss, the, the feeling of what... Me and Johnny have been friends since we were kids. Uh, matter of fact, my pop trained him, and so we, we knew each other extremely well, and just like anything else, we were going to go fight, and he wanted to whoop me, I wanted to whoop him, and it made for a wonderful f deal, wonderful feeling, and the two different contrasts of fighters, I uh, was a puncher, he was a boxer, and we lived, you know, literally a few blocks from each other growing up, and so... That whole dynamic was a wonderful thing for New Mexico. And what we felt, what we both felt is two champions went in and two champions came out. And we showed the world. Uh, New Mexico, whatever it is, we breed good fighters. And we handled ourselves well. I wish, you know, the decision would have been a little different. <laughs> but that's what it was. He fought a building fight. I did what I had to do and it came out. It came out for the future, for these kids nowadays to look back on that. Nowadays, Jody, you know, we've got Austin Trout down there, you know, all these fighters now to gauge off of that and, and take that, that pull that we did and stick it farther, make it, make it even that much better. That's what I feel about that fight. And uh, it was a great memory, great memory. Even with the loss now, of course I was upset and, you know, who wouldn't? But as we see it now, it has, has came to spots where fighters like Jody can, can look at that and, and judge off of that and say, okay, what can I do? What can, uh, if they're on Danny's side, what could he do more? To Johnny's side, what could he do more? You know, all that whole thing. So it's a learning process for everybody. And then this, uh, the historic deal of what we did here in New Mexico was wonderful. Yeah, you mentioned your father, someone yeah. you know very well. Uh, just like you said, the, the learning process, I've never seen somebody so, um, uh, to, to really just eat, sleep, drink, everything, boxing is, is pops. And, and I would say, I would come to the gym and say, hey, what about this video? And he'd be like, oh, I watched it eight times. No. And I think, and I don't think it was eight times, it was probably 80 times. Mm -hmm. Like, and, uh, well, we watched it, um, you know, 10 times. And it would be an MMA fight, and I'd be like, hey, guys, I think this guy's ne this girl's next. And then you'd, oh, well, she does this with her hand, or this is this. And, and I know that he's sitting there studying the tapes, and, and he's just, and he even told me something that I still hold um, very close, and, and is that he learns from me, too, you know. So every single day, he's still learning. Like, he is boxing. Yeah. Like, this man is, 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 I, like, I just, man, I feel super honored to even who have known, yeah. you know, to, and much less to work with these guys is, 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 um, is amazing. He is, he is boxing. Talk right. about his work ethic and he, how that reflected he, on you. You know, he's been my coach since I've been five years old. And I get to see, especially on the apprenticeship that I'm doing now with, with our fighters. And I just gave you a little some. well, it was, it was a funny deal because he's consistently, it's all about boxing. It's all about what's going to be good for the athlete, which is the boxer, and it's his passion. Uh, this last part of it, we bought him an uh, iPad, and now he's a little bit more technical, and he's seeing all the stuff on YouTube, and he's watching all these whole things. And we're going to the gym, and it still amazes me because we're in a constant, constant talk of either they didn't throw the jab right, and like I said, we have 600 clients to, to our program, and can pick out which one did the uppercut, which one didn't do the jab right, which one's on our 
on our professional level, then move their head and all that, and it, it overloads me, and I'm like, okay, 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 wait, which one, what do we gotta do? And that is amazing. I've been around the great Einstorf, uh, uh, all of them. Uh, Freddie is, is a great, great friend of ours and has cons consistently called my pops and talking to them, hey, what do you think about this? Give them some, uh, send them some videos. What do you think of it? And it is just something that for me, you know, in my future of a trainer and what I'm learning right now is just something I could, you know, I'm gifted and I thank God all the time. Okay. Well, Danny, we'd really like to thank you for coming thank on you. board. It's a pleasure to have a you. world champion and one of just a handful to ever come out of the state of New Mexico. So I best of luck with thank what you. you're doing with the kids there at the hideout. Thank you. But definitely be in touch with them. Danny Romero's hideout out on 4th Street, right? Yes, right down the street. Yeah. We'll catch you guys.